Once a pollen grain lands on a compatible stigma, it starts germinating. This is marked by the growth of a pollen tube down the length of the style. The pollen tube carries the male gametes towards the embryo sac. As the male gamete approaches the embryo sac, its nucleus divides in two. And as the pollen tube reaches the ovule, the polar nuclei in the female gametophyte fuse into one diploid nucleus. The pollen tube bursts and releases the two male gametes into the cytoplasm of the synergid. Contents of the pollen tube are released in one of the synergids, and as the egg cell and synergids are in close contact, sperms do not have to travel a long distance. The sperms exhibit amoeboid movement. One of the male gametes move towards the egg and the other to the polar nuclei. Only one of the two sperms fuses with the egg, resulting in syngamy or true fertilization, which leads to the formation of a diploid zygote. The second male gamete fuses with the haploid polar nuclei to form a triploid cell, technically called the primary endosperm nucleus or PEN for short. As three haploid nuclei are involved in this fusion, this process is also termed triple fusion. These more or less simultaneous events, that is syngamy and triple fusion, are collectively termed double fertilization. And they are a hallmark of angiosperm reproduction. Fertilization in flowering plants accomplishes two things. One, it creates a diploid zygote, which develops into an embryo. And two, it creates a triploid cell, that is the PEN, which eventually develops into endosperm, a nutrient-rich tissue that supplies energy to a plant embryo during its development. Densely packed cells in the tissue around the ovule form the tough seed coat, an outer layer that protects the developing embryo from water loss and other damage. While the ovule develops into a seed, the walls of the ovary develop into a fruit, another structure that distinguishes angiosperms. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's, the learning app today.